Hi friends, in today's video we are going to learn about the topic echo. So what is an echo? The sound heard after reflection is known as echo. Where can you hear an echo? It can be heard in small spaces with hard walls, wells, mountains, empty rooms or where there are lots of hard surfaces all around like Golconda Fort. How is an echo formed? When you say something, the sound waves produced from your mouth travels through the air and hits a hard surface such as a mountain. The sound waves after hitting the hard surface bounces back causing you to hear the sound again. So, this repeated sound after the sound waves get reflected back is known as an echo. Which type of surfaces causes an echo? It is possible only in hard surfaces because they reflect the sound. An echo is not possible in soft surfaces because they will observe the sound waves. What are the conditions required to hear an echo? The first condition required to hear an echo is the time interval between the original sound and the reflected sound must be at least 0.1 second. Then only you will be able to hear a distinct echo. So the second condition which is required to hear an echo is the distance from the original sound and the surface which reflects the sound should be at least 17.2 meters. Then only we will be able to hear an echo. So let us calculate the distance required to hear an echo. We know that speed of sound in air is equals to 344 meter per second and we know that the time required to hear an echo should be at least 0 0.1 second so let us take time is equals to 0 0.1 second and we already know the speed formula that is nothing but speed is equals to distance by time because we are calculating here distance, let us deduce the distance formula and we will get distance is equals to speed into time and let us substitute the values. Speed is nothing but 344 meter per second and time is nothing but 0 0.1 second. So, we will get the answer as 34.4 meter. Why meter? Because left side the physical quantity is distance. So the SI unit of distance is nothing but meter. So we got distance is equals to 34.4 meter. But this is the total distance traveled by the original sound and the reflected sound. Example, suppose this is the source of sound and imagine this is a wall and ha a hard surface. So, when the sound is produced from this point to this point it is considered as original sound. Okay, and after hitting the hard surface, again the sound is getting reflected back. So, the total distance travelled by the original sound and the reflected sound hold together, they are saying it as 34.4 meter. But, we need only the distance between the source of sound and the hard surface. So, at that time, what we will do? It's simple because here distance is doubled. Yes or no? Because two times there is an equal distance. So let us divide distance is equals to 
34.4 divided by 2 that is nothing but 17.2 meters. So, only the distance between the source of sound and the hard surface should be 17.2 meter. Okay. And the reflected sound should also be like 17.2 meters. So, together when you will add, you will get it as 34.4 meter. So, this is nothing but the distance required to hear an echo. Uses of echo. Sonar is based on the principle of reflection of sound wave that is echo. It is used to measure the distance and speed of underwater objects. It is a device that uses ultrasonic waves. So, sonar consists of a transmitter and a detector and it is installed in a boat or a ship. The transmitter produces and transmits ultrasonic waves. These waves travel through water and after striking the object on the seabed, it gets reflected back and it is sensed through a detector. Submarines use sonar to locate a target. It uses active and passive sonar. So what do you mean by active and passive sonar? Active sonar emits pulses of sound waves that travel through the water and gets reflected back after hitting the object to the ship. Whereas passive sonar is nothing but it listens to the sounds produced by the target. The leaf nose bats uses ultrasonic sound waves and echoes which is known as echolocation to capture prey such as crickets. When bats sends out sound waves using their mouth or nose, when the sound hits an object, an echo comes back. The bat can identify an object by the sound of the echo. Sonar is even used by the dolphins for moving around in water that helps them from preventing any obstacles. When the dolphin produces the ultrasonic sound, it hits an object in the water. It bounces back to the dolphin as an echo. The dolphin observes this written echo through its jaw. A passage of fat from the jaw contacts the sound to the dolphin's inner ear. The dolphin can tell things about the object such as size, shape and material. This is the end of our today's topic. If you like my video, click on the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you